Hello and welcome to Amalie Making Piano Studios YouTube channel. In this video, we will be discussing how to pick a Chinese Mandarin name. It is a very complicated process because usually you need to come up with a surname, which is your last name, and a first name, which represents something about yourself and also something that sounds like your English name. So this is a list of the 100 most common Chinese family surnames or last names. So for example, if your last name is Fish, it sounds like Xie. Fish, Xie. So number 24 is the Xie. So that might be a last name that you're interested in. Then you need to find a first name. So we're going to go up to the 100 common baby names for boys and girls. And you can scroll through and you can look for a first name that sounds similar or starts with the letter of your first name. So if your first name is, for example, Bay, you could make your name Bao. Or if you did Fun, you could come up with something with if your first name started with an F. However, the very, very simple way to come up with the translation would be, of course, to translate in Google Translate. So here's an example of a name, Lillian Johnson. And it is written like Li Lian Yue Hanshun. It somewhat sounds like Lillian Johnson, but beware because if you always translate like this, the translation may come out literally. So if you did the last name Fish, it would come out as the last name Yu, which is fish, and that really doesn't make any sense. So you have to be careful if you use the Google Translate because you want the name to sound like your name and you want it to also be a name character as opposed to an actual word character. So again, it's very uh, complicated to come up with a name, but it'll be very rewarding once you do. You will want to come up with the surname that sounds like your name and means something about you and the first name same thing. And if you use the Google Translate, again, just be sure that the characters represent a name, not a literal translation like fish and fish. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And we hope that this video was helpful.